Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, or welcome to my YouTube channel if you are new here. Um, so as you can tell from the title, this is gonna be a huge Zara haul. I have the box right here. Um, I'm kind of struggling to find things I like at the moment um, because it's like that in-between phase between kind of like summer and autumn and everything's in the sale, like all the summer bits are in the sale and nothing really that good like autumnal has come out. But anyway, I found a few bits that I like. They're not autumn winter vibe. This is more of just like a few jeans and a few nice tops. And then I thought I'll just leave the jumpers and cardigans and jackets until shops actually start doing that sort of stuff. So anyway, I'm not gonna ramble on. I also picked up this top in the Zara store. So it kind of has this ruched effect down the front, which I absolutely love. And it goes really nicely with a pair of heels that I have. Um, so it just means like for a night out or something, it's really nice with a pair of jeans. I really, really like this. And obviously anything ruched across your summer, it's really flattering. So I'll show you it full length in the cutaway. I'll style it with some of the jeans and things, but I just thought I'd mention that one. So apart from the blue top, the first thing I got was this pink bodysuit. I feel like I've gone baby blue and baby pink. Oh, that's the back. Um, I've actually already worn this out. It's got this really sweet sweetheart neckline um, and it's kind of like really thick, not boned, but it almost looks like it is. Um, it has like this corset kind of vibe going on. It's just really, really sweet with like a pair of jeans. It's also got this elasticated bit around the bottom, um, which it does make it quite comfortable. It doesn't kind of cut in and give you uh, like four bums, you know, and it does that when it's too tight and it, cuts in um yeah it's quite stretchy so yeah comfortable um i am five foot seven and it is just about long enough for me i always have a problem with bodysuits but yeah just about long enough so yeah i just thought it was really cute i just wanted to add some color to my wardrobe which is why i've got the pink and then the blue um and i, I wore this with black jeans the other night and it was just really really cute actually um you can kind of see where the black jeans have rubbed and marked it which is not what we want but um hopefully that'll come out in the wash i think this was super cheap as well um as was this blue one which is a bit classic for zara so next up i've also worn these so the the only two bits that i've worn are the pink um bodysuit and these trousers so these are basically a wide leg dad jean style and um, they've got darts in them so they are really really baggy which i love i love that whole baggy 90s vibe at the moment um especially it just works really well for my figure if you guys have a smaller waist and bigger hips or like bigger thighs baggy jeans are just so good like they're so flattering because obviously it brings you in at the waist and then it skims over your thighs which is what I love so I actually got these in an A and I would say they come up big um yeah they're not overly big like they do fit me but for an eight waist that's pretty big um I could probably squeeze into a six but I wouldn't want to because it fits the legs nicely um, but yeah, I love the colour, I just thought they were a little bit different. They are mega long, so I'm five foot seven and I rolled these just a tiny bit. You can see like literally the smallest roll, but um, yeah, it depends how you like your jeans. Uh, if you like them kind of like bunched at the bottom, which I do, um, you don't really need to roll them that much. They do look cool with the roll and also the other thing is my flatmate always cuts the bottom of her jeans, which I've never thought to do before, but I saw her do it and I was like, actually, yeah, jeans aren't gonna sort of like unravel are they their jeans so you just cut the bottom and then roll them again so if they are mega long and it's too much to roll then yeah just give them a little trim but um i do like them i think the whole vibe is that, that they're mega long because they want to be bunched at the bottom which is that whole 90s look which i do love so yeah everything else i have not worn yet so i can't give a full review but i picked up this because i just thought i really liked the washed gray black vibe um it is ribbed it's a roll neck and yeah it's just like a cute little bodysuit so i got this in a size small it's 12.99 so hopefully you're seeing from the cutaway how it fits my only concern is it does look a little bit wide i, I wonder if just because it is a stretchy material i wonder if that's going to be a bit baggy um hopefully you are finding out in the cutaway but I just thought with a pair of jeans in the winter months with a roll neck and a blazer over the top, um, that would just be really super cute basic. And I love a washed black, like a charcoal kind of vibe rather than a solid black. I just think it's so much more cool. It gives me like All Saints vibes. All Saints always do that kind of washed or more distressed look black. It just looks more expensive, doesn't it? So yeah, love that. So next up, I've not, as I said, I've not um, worn any of these or tried them on, but these look so short. 
Like the fact that I can hold them up and you can see the bottom does not give me hope at all. As I said, I'm five foot seven um, and yeah, these just look really short. I'm imagining that they're meant to be cropped. They're called the gardener pant, um, but if they're too cropped, they just look a bit silly on me. I got these in a size 10. Um, I potentially should have gone for the eight. I'm not sure, we'll be finding out in the cutaway. But I just thought they were a little bit different with these pockets. I thought they were a little bit cool. They were only 29.99 and I just wanted some more pairs of trousers ready for the autumn months. So we shall see, but I, I can't say I have high hopes for these. Um, but hopefully you are seeing in the cutaway what, we, what they look like on. So let me know. Um, everything's gonna be linked down below, by the way. Let me know what you think down below. What's your favorite piece? Um, yeah. Okay, so next up, this is a very cute little top. I've got... Living in London, there's so many noises that come through the I just thought this looks so, so cute on the website. I'm really hoping that I love this on. Again, not tried it on. It's got these really cool puff sleeves. They come down to the gathering. They've got this whole ruching thing going on. It's slightly off the shoulder. I mean, it's just everything I want in the top, but I could be really let down when I actually try this on we shall see it's a size small and it was 19.99 so not too expensive considering the work that goes into this it's a little bit extra a little bit different it's not sort of a plain bodysuit um but yeah that's just something that's so ideal anything with long sleeves is great for like dinners out date nights girls night out drinks anything like that you can just pair with a pair of jeans you know jeans and a nice top vibe um but yeah for autumn winter you definitely need those longer sleeves just because even with a coat sometimes it gets as we know in the uk it gets very very cold so hopefully i love that one because i really like the look of it next up i got another long sleeve top this is a little crop top really basic but it just has this square neck i am a sucker for a square neck i love i honestly i love a square neck i just think it's so classy so elegant you can literally take the plainest of tops like a little ribbed crop top put a square neck on it and it's just so much more interesting already um and it just is so flattering around here to have like this whole bit out and you can wear a nice necklace and really highlight that area i love it it's also lined on the front um I don't know if you can see is this bit's lined here so that's really really great hopefully you don't need to wear a bra with it um and it's only 9.99 so yeah size small i am wearing then again i've gone for another top this one really really cute sweetheart neckline little gray rib number this looks like really nice and like it's going to fit really nicely because it's nice and small and it's obviously stretchy put it in the gray just to be a little bit different size small and it is 12.99 it's got these um, rubber bits here, which literally I would not get a bandeau top without them uh, because they just fall down and it's an absolute nightmare. But with the rubber bits, they do stay up really nicely. So hopefully that one is staying up really well. But I just thought how cute was the sweetheart neckline with a pair of jeans. Obviously, I just said long sleeves for autumn winter, but you know, we can make exceptions if you're going somewhere inside that's warm. So next up, this could go either way. Um, just feeling the material. It's a kind of a weird material. I feel like this might make some people cringe. You know, if you have, like, if you cringe at different fabrics, this might be one that makes you feel a bit funny. I can't even explain what fabric is it. Let's see. It's just a polyester, but it must be the way that they've woven it. I'm not too sure. Anyway, it's really, really stretchy. Obviously, it's white. Long sleeve crop top. I just thought it'd look really, really cute because it gives, it's like the sleeves on the model online anyway, they're really long. So, you know, when they come down a little bit over your hand, I love that look. I just think it's really cool and it's just like um, almost like seamless. It has got seams, but it almost looks seamless. So, I'm excited to try that on. But yeah, it could go either way. It could look really cheap. I mean, it was 15 99 and I got it in a size small. So, hopefully, we're loving it in the cutaway. But let me know what you think um should i keep let me know what you think i should keep and what you think i should send back by the way guys always value your thoughts so then i got two more pairs of trousers so one of them is a pair of jeans these i got in a size eight so i just find it really difficult to know what size to get when it comes to zara and also when it comes to looser fitting jeans because as i said i've got a smaller waist and a bigger a bigger thigh so if they are quite baggy on the leg Getting an eight is great for me because it means I can have it really fitted on my waist and not have it really tight on my thighs. But if it's not loose enough on my thighs, an eight won't fit and it will just cling and look, it just won't look good. So I got these in an eight, but I'm skeptical because I don't know. Obviously I want them really baggy. Again, that baggy vibe, 90s fit trousers. They are slightly distressed and they just go down into a really, really wide leg. 
They look nice and long, which I love. Um, yeah, they're $29.99, so not bad for a pair of jeans. But yeah, as I said, got them in an eight. I'm not sure, hopefully we're seeing in the cutaway. Um, I hope they fix, I really like the colour. It's really hard to find a denim like this kind of blue, like almost like a Levi's vintage colour, um, for not too expensive, I think. So yeah, I love the cut of them anyway. So we shall see, we shall see how they look on. So last but not least, guys, I got these trousers. These are just a kind of beigey stone colour. They've got a slight crinkle to the fabric and then they're just a wide leg. I just thought something a bit different. Again, like I said, I wanted some more trousers. These are great for kind of like a night out. Put them with a pair of jeans, a pair of jeans. Put them with a pair of boots or a pair of heels. Um, they were $29.99 and I got the size small. I'm not going to lie to you, that looks very big for a size small to me. Um, we shall see in the cutaway what they are looking like, but that's going to sit way lower. That's not going to sit on my waist. can tell you that now. That's going to drop down a little bit. Whether that looks cool or whether I need to take them in or whether I don't like them at all, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this crinkle style fabric. I didn't actually know it was this crinkle style. Um, but... It's not overly crinkled and it might not look too bad when they're on, but we shall see. Um, yeah, I like the colour though, and I like the uh, wide leg, I like the cut, the wide leg cut with the darts at the top always makes things look more expensive. So that is everything guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul, let me know what your favourite bit was, let me know if you buy anything, as I said everything's linked down below, um, there will be many more so please do hit subscribe if you're not already and if you don't follow me over on Instagram that's where I share all my outfits so I will be styling up all these pieces that I decide to keep over on there so I will put it on screen here and again it will be linked down below. But thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one, bye!